Well, the last time she was here, we were only allowed to hint that our next guest might be pitching to some heavy hitting backers on ABC's Shark Tank. Well, the secret is out. Local teen entrepreneur and friend of the chat, Shelby Gogolski and her little brother Gordon made their prime time debut. Shelby Gogolski and her little brother Gordon made their prime time debut on the hit show Shark Tank this past Friday. Debut on the hit show Shark Tank this past Friday. Our knees were knocking for them as the two made their pitch. Our knees were knocking for them as the two made their pitch for financial backing before a trio of megawatt billionaire back for financial backing before a trio of megawatt billionaire backers and joining us to dish on all the behind the scenes action we are pleased to welcome back to the show Shelby Gogolski the founder of her own line of popper jewelry and accessories your self expression thank you so very much for being here thank you for having me i was lucky enough to be here last time you were here and so we were all kind of guessing that's what was coming up next um what was it your dream to be on shark tank you know i think every entrepreneur that's the end goal shark tank because mm -hmm. you're in front of millions and millions of people you're getting your product out there and you have a chance to pitch to these billionaires who could really further you and take you to the next step and so Yes, that, that was my dream, and it came true. So Yes, it did. <laughs> and as Maria mentioned, so many people were rooting for you, yep. but for those who didn't get an opportunity to watch, just very briefly tell us what you were asking for in so your So I was um, asking $50,000 for 20%, and I really went on to get the mentorship and connections. My main goal was to move into the souvenir industry, and so sports and character licensing was where I'm moving now and where I was moving next. Mm -hmm. So... Um, that's really what I went on there for. Yeah. So how did you end up on Shark Tank? Did you have to fill out, fill out an application? Did they find you? Um, I was actually on The View last February. I was on here a little yep. after, but um, so Shark Tank called me a few days later. And oh, they called you? Yeah, nice. you, know, you know, The View kind of did a little shout out, and um, I still went through the long, long, long process of the Shark Tank and getting to the tank. Really? But yes. Um, was, it was it worth it? Oh, yes, it was. It was okay. such an amazing experience, and all of, I became so much more knowledgeable on business through, through Shark Tank. Hmm. Well, I watched the show on Friday night and I was so excited because we've had you on the show so we feel connected to you. But there was a point in time where actually they, they asked you what you wanted, you went through the spiel, mm -hmm. everything that you were supposed to do, and you got a little upset. I've been there before, I'm yeah. sure many <laughs> people have been there before. When you want something so badly, you just get so upset when it didn't go the way that you wanted. What were you thinking in that moment? You know, I'm really passionate about my company. And when they, everything that I'm saying, they're kind of rejecting and they're not really, they're not really understanding my vision. Mm. And so when they didn't understand, I felt like, you know, I, I felt kind of hopeless, honestly. I was like, how am I going to make them, how am I going to make them see what I'm seeing in my head and where I can see this going? And at one point, I think it was Barbara, and she said, um, so if I tell you to stop creating, are you going to keep creating? And I said, yes. My company has something for everyone, and I wanted to, I'm going to keep creating. I'm going to make sure there is something for everyone. And for her to tell me that, it kind of, kind of shocked me, and that's what kind of sparked my tears. Mm. Well, and to Angelia's point, when I was watching, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so upset with their reaction mm -hmm. to investing, and, and one of them made the point that they felt you had too many products, yeah. which <laughs> I thought was crazy. What, how did you feel when you got some of that feedback? Well, I know having over 3,000 SKUs is very scary for them and for me as well. You know, inventory is crazy, but um, when they kind of disagreed with that, I was like, you know, they're like, how are you going to put this? Why do, we, why do you have so many bases? And, of course, I have something for everyone. I want everybody to be able to express themselves through my jewelry. And when they weren't seeing where I wanted to go with it and they were like, you need to, you need to streamline it, you need to downgrade it, I was like, well, then, you know what, I guess it was, wasn't meant to be. Mm -hmm. So They, they didn't maybe, get it. Maybe there was a blessing in disguise that they yes. didn't get it, because. though. Because we want to focus on the good stuff. <laughs> you told us about SeaWorld. Yes, I'm so exciting excited. About SeaWorld. Um, I had a meeting with them. Right here. <laughs> yeah. I had a meeting with them, and it went amazing. And hopefully, I'll be rolling out into the 12 parks very, very soon. 12 yes! parks, people. And yes. wait a minute, you didn't just have a meeting with them. Now, from what I understand, you were the only. So, um, what I understood is that I was the only person who, who's ever spoken in front of the 50 heads of parks. Um, and so it was such an honor and it was so amazing to 
be able to share my brand with them. And working, really working alongside SeaWorld has let me op it has opened me up to a new door of their message of conservation, and so I feel even more strongly about everything they do now. So I, I'm so excited to be a part of their their brand and their theme parks. So we, again, remind us how old you are. I'm 16. That's okay. what I was going to say. So when I'm oh, listening to you, my life. you are 16 years old. Wait, and her skirts are long. Let me just say that. Her skirts name. are long. We'll, we'll say that. But you are incredibly articulate focused, mm -hmm. knowledgeable, mature, all of those things, where did that come from? I really have to give the credit to my mom. She's, she's, an, entrepreneur, she's an entrepreneur too. She owns a cleaning company and she, everything, all of the dreams she's had, she's made them happen. And so when I was first like thinking about my company, she's like, you know what, go do it. And so she's always pushing me. And actually not getting a deal on Shark Tank has given me more of a drive and it's given me the want to work harder. And she's really always been there behind me, pushing me forward. and helping me get to where I want to go. Oh, so your brother a, did a great job yeah. too. Yeah, he yeah. was a little cutie on TV. <laughs> he was adorable. So tell us, did he come up with the idea? You have a fabulous idea for the Jaguars, for sure. The Jaguars, so um, of oh. course, sports and character licensing. I, I brought this little piece, but of course, local is the best place to start, right? Of and so course. I would love to design a collection for Mr. Khan and the Jaguars. And since my collection's for the entire family, I think it would be perfect. Um, as well as affordable, and so I would love if he could, if we could get in touch some way or another. But I think it would be perfect. Some Absolutely. way or some another. Some way or another, I think get it's going to happen. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's Very my nice. shell coin. So. so okay, I just want to dive in, girl. You have any tea you want to spill about? Um, Shark Tank? Is there any drama going on behind the scenes? Who don't like who? Um. And is Barbara's <laughs> legs really good? I don't know. I really wasn't paying attention to her. Good but, girl. Good girl. You know, I really think mind over body. That's how I believe. So, um, Gosh, she says you know, when I, when I went on, I, uh, I was actually in the tank an hour. You see seven to nine minutes of that. Yeah. And it was freezing. I always said if I, was, if I were to go back on, I'd bring a park on. My brother agreed completely with me because I was like, am I nervous or am I cold or what's going on? Mm -hmm. So it kind of added to the nerve wracking element of it. Um, but it was such an amazing experience. And, I, you know, I was on The View, and so that was very fun and energetic, and Shark Tank's very serious to the mm -hmm. point, you know, tell me what you have and put it all on the line. And so, so intimidating. It yes. was very For intimidating. For any age. Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, I was so stressed, and I think that's why I was crying. I was like, oh, no, what's going on? But, um, you know, I'm happy with the outcome. I still own 100% of my company, and I'm working hard to get where I want to go without them. Did you have a shark picked out? Because I was with you. I thought Mark Cuban should have been I know, all right? over Licensing. this. I know, right? Licensing. Um, I really wanted all of them because it was more about the mentorship and connections versus mm -hmm. the money. I really thought they could have got, opened up doors for me and I mean being on the show of course opened up many doors for me as well. But um, Robert Herjavec, he's a very sweet man. He was very sweet to give me his little handkerchief when I was crying. Yeah. Um, but like you Mark, you know my mom asked me why I didn't. <laughs> um, uh, I wasn't, you know, I was kind of in the moment. I was yeah, like, here's yeah. your handkerchief. But, yeah. um, here you go. <laughs> I was like, Man, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do. But, um, you know, I was thinking Mark, Lori, or Robert would have been a really great team. I really wanted all the sharks mm -hmm. because they all have something to give me and they all can really help me further me. But, you know, it is what it is. And, I'm going to work. Everything happens for a reason. Exactly. Yeah. Mark, You're about to be a yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Listen, yes. you are a phenomenal woman, and we are so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you. Thank yes. you. All right, well, Shelby, we want to thank Shelby for joining us. And for more information about your self expression, including how to buy the products and how to become a your self expressionist, you can visit yourselfexpression.com. And coming up next, an entertaining group bringing a unique experience to Jacksonville. Learn more about this African dance group and their upcoming production.